All right, right, guys, it's Moski Home Brewing here, Eric and Eric, bringing you Oktoberfest by Great Lakes Brewing, our first Oktoberfest beer that we're going to do a beer review on. In the month of October. Yes, it is. Coming right up. That would. Be quiet. No. Okay. <laughs> Our take on this classic German style is a celebration of maltiness, packed with rustic autumn flavors to put a little more oomph into your oompapa. Oompapa! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. So, we got a poured. Ooh, look at that color. Yeah. Look at that color. I'm gonna fix the bottom. It's like a penny. Yeah, that's good. I it's like, like the a color. Penny. That's nice. Looks like it's got good carbonation. That's real nice. We got little cups. Look at that color on my thumb. We got little cups and uh, we still have a little head. Smells good. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna drink it now. All right. Tastes like fall. That's not too bad. It's pretty good. Tastes like fall. I don't get a whole lot of aroma from it. There really isn't. It's Maybe. almost like a pilsner, like a yeah, like kind a, of like a like a lagery yep. type of aroma. Cold fermented beer. Mm -hmm. Fermented yeast. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the flavor's good. Slight orange, maybe tangerine taste to it. Um, a little bit of maltiness to it. Kind of just makes you think of fall in October. Mm -hmm. It's uh, kind of a fun beer. 6.3. Ah, so. 6.5. Oktoberfest is 6.5% ABV and 20 IBU. But it's not bad. Uh, it's drinkable. It's sippable. I like it. I'd drink it. I wouldn't drink too many of them, but I'd drink it. It just makes me think of October. <laughs> fall. Yes. Orange. It's a fall style beer. Yes. Something I would drink next to a campfire. Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Chocolate. Graham crackers. Leaves falling. Oktoberfest by okay. Great Lakes Brewing. <laughs> I think we can play five seconds of the song in our video and not get sued. Yeah. Raindrops are falling <laughs> on my head. <laughs> so, what would you give this beer? Out of five, judging that I don't know if I've ever had too many Oktoberfest kind of beers anyway. I've had a few. I've been trying to drink more. And I would give this a... 3.25. I was gonna say a three and a half. Okay. So the reason Which behind my three and a half is I really like the color on it. Um, it's easy drinking. It's a little sweet for my for my taste, but it's a very it's very very good for what it is for an Oktoberfest. I haven't been a big fan of Oktoberfest, so that's why mine's going to be a little lower than, you know, three. I'm going to have a three and a half. But it's been one of the best Oktoberfest I've tasted so right. far. So, that's why I give it a three and a half. I give it a three and a quarter because I've, I feel like I've had a better Oktoberfest. I don't know what it is, though. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. I don't remember. I don't know what I've had. But, um, it's not bad. It's drinkable. It's good. Great color, good carbonation. Um, I don't know. It's I, don't know. I can go either way. Three and a quarter, three and a half. We have decided Moski review number three point two five. That's what we're giving it. Yep. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. Give us a like if you like the video. Give us a dislike if you don't like the video. But tell us why. We're kind of interested. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're on Untapped Moski Homebrew. All of our usernames for everything. Sign it off. Thanks. See you next time. Cheers. <laughs> it's a celebration of maltiness picked with rustic shit. <laughs> with rustic shit. <laughs> the phone turned off. It has rustic shit in it. Oh man, let me read.
try this. All right. Um, 